from an American Indian point of view, I can't say that immigration is a good thing. It might change your whole environment. It might threaten the existence of your people. But in the case of uh, an invasive immigration, when it's forced, that's one kind of circumstance. When it's constitutional, or when it's uh, understood that by all nations that their doors are supposed to be open to all people at all times, that's a different situation. And I don't know of a single constitution of any country in this world that says it is obligated, that that country is obligated to receive anybody from anywhere at any time for any reason. I, I know of no such country, and yet this is what's happening in every country. A person born into this world feels that he has a right to live anywhere he wants. I, I don't know where this idea came from. It, it never existed before. But it is the dominant uh, quasi-moral code of the world right now. And of course, everybody wants to come to the West because the West has, has a better life. I mean, that, that's, that's obvious. But in the case of, uh, back to the American Indian, the lesson is, don't let it happen. If there's any lesson from the American Indian story, don't let immigration happen. You'll be sorry. And uh, the latest example, I, I'm going to have to quote uh, the Serbians and what happened in Kosovo. They let too many Albanian Muslims settle, immigrate onto their territory. And now the Muslims have claimed it as their own. That's what Muslims are all about, is claiming territory. And it's awful easy to do in the West now because everybody's going by this unwritten moral code that uh, you can live wherever you want. Nobody can stop you. You have a right to live wherever you want. It ain't so. Or if it is, if it is true, then nationhood is out the window. That is the doom of nationhood. Open doors. I would say the Muslims. I would say Islam, um, because it has an intent, a stated intent for what it wants, what its goals are, and what it wants to accomplish. But the, the enemy underneath that is this open door policy. So it, they, those are the two things that are combined. White Western civilization feels, you know, it's a macho thing. You know, if you're, if you're Attila the Hun and you have guests, you know, you let them eat out of the silver, you eat out of stone. You know, you let them use the, the gold knives and you use a stick or something. You know, it's macho. You treat your guests well. That's what the American Indians did. It's exactly what the American Indians did. Big mistake. Look what happened. You know, it, so your own machoism can, can be your undoing. That's, that's another great moral of the American Indian story. Your, your pride goeth before a fall, you know. Sometimes maybe it's better to just be a primitive, primitive person and protect what's your own. Just be primitive about it. This is mine. I will fight for it. Not, I'm great. I'm like God. I can give you everything I have. It's yours. Uh, we get into trouble when we try to be like God too much, a bit too much. So if you value what you have, be prepared to fight for it unto the death, because if you're not prepared to fight for it, it shall be taken from you by somebody who is less worthy than you, who was not able to accomplish what you accomplished. And if you're willing to give it to him, he will just take it. That's, that's what we are witnessing right now. Give away, one country after another, just folding uh, in the name of goodness, in the name of... Uh, in the name of God. The liberals, liberals do what they do in the name of God. They think that it's, they're higher, uh, at a higher moral level. And you're wrong to keep anything to yourself. Belo America belongs to the world.
Uh, anybody who wants it, anybody who can make the trip over, who can risk their life from any place in the world, they deserve to live in America. If they made the effort to come here, they deserve it. You know, there, there's, a, there's all kinds of... We always justify what we're doing. We, you have to justify yourself to live with yourself. So that's what always makes me revert back to the primitive mode again. If you have something, you better be prepared to keep it because somebody will take it, especially if it's valuable. Take a lesson from the American Indians. Don't be too macho. Fight for what's yours. Always.